Hey everyone, here's a quick video on the basic use of adding shapes and text in Adobe Illustrator and changing the colors of the fill and the stroke, which is basically, basically the outline or the border. All right, so let's start with some shapes. All your shapes are going to be over here underneath the type tool. Underneath there's this one rectangle right here, and if you click on it, you're basically going to click and drag, and we have a rectangle. Now, if you keep clicking, you're going to keep drawing more rectangles, more rectangles until you exit that tool. To get off of this tool, you're going to go back to one of our main tools. You can hear me say this a lot. We've got to go to our selection tool, which is the black arrow. The shortcut is V on your keyboard. If you'd like to use shortcuts, click V on your keyboard and you'll go right over here to this black arrow selection tool. All right. So the selection tool allows us to also move objects. So I could select, select, and move them around. And if you want, I could select and hit delete on my keyboard if I want to get rid of them. All right. To change the color of this, we basically have the fill and we have the stroke. When you put your mouse over the fill, you notice it has that X right there. This either you could come over here and click and it switches them. It switches from the black stroke right here to the fill color. Here is the stroke. Here is the fill. Or you could just hit X on your keyboard. X switches them back and forth. Now, whatever is the one in front, when you click on your swatches, so right now I have my fill in the front, it's in the foreground. When I click on it, it's going to change it to red. If I come over here and click on the uh, this black, on the stroke right here, when I click, come over here to click, it is going to change, it is going to change the stroke color. Now, you might not be able to see that in blue. Come, I'm going to come over here to my uh, stroke toolbar and I'm going to increase the stroke. Now you can see. So... If you want to, let me close some of these toolbars over here. Sorry about that. Um, so if you want to, again, change the fill color. Let's switch it. Switch it to the fill. We can change that to yellow. Switch this one here. So it's in the front. We can change that to black. Oops, that's white. There we go. It's black. All right. Or blue, whatever you want. All right. Your other shapes, all these buttons over here on this toolbar, wherever they have this little triangle in the corner, wherever you click and hold, that means there's more tools underneath. We come down here to an ellipse, and we could draw an ellipse. But if you want to draw it as a perfect circle, a lot of these shapes, if you want to kind of lock or hold the shape, here's an ellipse. If I hold shift, that is going to lock it as a circle. Move that out of the side. We're going to come here. You could draw a star if you want. Hold again. This kind of floats, but if you hold shift, it will lock it in over there. All right, let me go back to my selection tool and I can click on these and I can move them around. Now, if you want to select more than one item, you can just, instead of selecting it, you can click and drag and as long as your mouse touches it. So if I touch the ellipse, touch the circle, touch the star, it'll select all of them and I can hit delete on my keyboard and delete them all at once. All right, just for practice for this video, we are going to draw uh, let's draw three circles. So I'm on the ellipse tool, hold shift, and I'm holding shift. There, it keeps it as a circle. And I'm going to change this into a quick little stoplight. So I'm going to switch it to the fill color. Let's put red on top, switch. Let's change the stroke to black. All right, let's go. I'm going to draw another circle. Now, if you want your circles to be lined up, they have all these uh, grids and uh, these guidelines. You notice this pink line pops up. That tells me I'm right at the outside of that circle. I'm going to hold shift, come across the other side. There I'm locked at the right side of this one. Let's switch or again I'm going to switch over to the letter X on this. X also switches it to the fill. Let's change this to yellow and let's draw one more circle down here. And again make sure you're holding shift and get that lined up and the bottom of the stoplight is going to be green. Now around our stoplight, I'm going to put a rectangle around it. So it's on the ellipse. Let's click and hold, come back to my rectangle tool, and I'm going to click and drag and draw the box around this stoplight. And let's change the fill color. So my fill, this is already in the front, so let's change this to gray. Now the problem is whenever you draw something, it puts it in the front or the foreground. I'm going to move this to the side. You can see my other pieces back over there. So. To move this to the back, my preference is to uh, right click a lot of objects. A lot of the options are a uh, right click away. So I'm going to right click, come down to arrange, and let's just send that to the back. We're going to send it all the way to the back. Backward moves it one step at a time. Send it to the back, goes all the way to the back of all the circles there. So there we go. We now have our stoplight. Okay, to add text, start to start with text in the most basic way, we're going to come right over here to our type tool. 
I'm going to click on this type tool right here. It says type tool. T is for type if you want to use the shortcut. And my preference is when you type something, start off with a single click. Do not draw a text box. We'll talk more about the differences later, but I'm going to single click. There my text uh, is highlighted. So I'm just going to type the word Jaguars, G-A-G-U-A-R-S. Now, right now I'm still typing. Now, if you want to, you could go back. You could highlight this, um, click and drag and highlight and change the font. I find it easiest to just exit the tool. So here I'm still typing. I'm going to exit the tool. I'm in a type tool, as you can see right here on the left side. I'm going to exit by, again, going to my selection tool. And there is my bounding box. It has... Um, the outside border of this text. I'm going to come to the corner and just like we talked about with the circles, make sure you hold shift on your keyboard. You're going to hold shift on your keyboard and that's going to lock the proportion to keep it the font the way it should look. The font was not designed to look like this or like this, but just like the circle, hold shift. Now in this one, it's the exact same way. If you want to change the color of the fill, make sure the fill is in front. We could change this to blue. We can hit X to switch these, or just come here to click on the stroke, and we can add a stroke to the outside. All right, that's just the basic use. We're going to get more in depth, but hopefully this helps on your first time using Adobe Illustrator.